Before we get started with this video, I'm giving away 5 permanent fruits for 5 lucky subscribers every day. If you want to enter to this giveaway, all you guys gotta do is just like this video, subscribe to my channel, watch this video fully till the end and comment your username and what fruit you want in the comment section below. And if you guys want to become a member of the channel, click that join button and become a member. As a member, you get exclusive perks like shoutouts in my videos, custom emojis to use in comments, loyalty badges next to your names and much more like that. So if you guys want to become a member, click that join button and become a member. What's up guys, welcome back to Nobis Style. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a glitch where you guys can get the T-Rex fruit for free in Blocks Fruits, guys. Yes, guys, the permanent version for free. So yeah, in today's video, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to do this glitch. So yeah, guys, let's get on to this video. So guys, the first thing you guys got to do is basically come to Middletown just like this. So I have tried this in like other seas, but it works best with the first C so basically do this in the first C and go ahead and go over to the blocks of dealer in the back of this mansion in middle town I guess I do just talk to this dude click on continue on him click on gift on him click on store in inventory now click on gift wait until this insufficient fun thing pop up I guess I do is just quickly cancel this and reset yourself just like that now once you have done that, all you guys got to do is just click on exit on this, click on this black box. Go ahead and open up items over here. Now once you're in items, put this to treasure guys, as you guys can see, do that. Now open up the shop again, go ahead and go over to more fruits, click on gift, store in inventory, gift again, wait until this thing opens up. Now click on items just like this and basically open these all up. Now reset yourself, just like that. Now once you respawn, all you guys gotta do is just open up your stat bar. Now after you open up your stat bar, click on your home point and basically get teleported to your home point. Now once you're in your home point, all you guys gotta do is just research yourself once. Now open up the uh, like the rewards code thing. Now basically just tap in anything in this. Just like this, click on redeem on it. Wait until it says code invalid. Now go ahead and open up shop again, just like this. Now, all you guys gotta do is just wait until like the home point like uh, clears up again. Just like this. All you guys gotta do is just click on the home point and uh, wait until it like says teleport into wherever you set your home point and just reset yourself. Just like that. It's that simple, guys. All you guys gotta do is just after that, click on X on this, X on that. Click on exit on this, X on that, just like that. Now after I've done that, all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to Middletown once more. Okay. Now once you're in Middletown again, go ahead and go to that blocks of dealer once more. Click on this dude, click on continue, click on gift in the store, just like that. Basically the same thing that we did earlier, exit, click on that black box. Now once you have done that, go ahead and go over to the marine starter area. So just get yourself over to that marine starter area. Now once you're in the marine starter area, click on this dude, click on continue. Go ahead and go over to the T-Rex fruit. So, T-Rex fruit, click on gift. Store in inventory, gift again. Wait until this thing pops up, click on cancel, exit, and click on this black box. Now, after I've done that, go ahead and go over to the quest giver of the marine starter area. Get yourself a quest just like this. Now, I guess what I do is just complete that quest. So, yeah. And the quest has been completed. Now, after I've done that, click on this dude again. Click on train this again, get yourself the same quest once more. After you get yourself the same quest, kill one trainee. Now, all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to the pirate recruit over here. Now, you guys gotta do is click on this dude and join the pirates again. So, just like that. Now, once you have done that, all you guys gotta do is just basically like uh, go ahead and kill any NPC. Literally, anyone would do. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this dude. I don't even know why I went that way. There's NPCs over here. So yeah, now after I've done that, I guess I do just basically kill a boss. 
So any boss will do guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over to Bobby over there. So yeah. I've killed the Gorilla King too much. I wanna kill Bobby now. I've killed like the Gorilla King in my glitched videos a lot. So yeah. I don't wanna kill Gorilla King again. Alright. You guys can take the quest for this, but the quest is not needed, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this dude. Just like that. Now once you have done that, what you guys got to do is just go ahead and go over to Middletown once more. Okay, we are here. Now once I'm in Middletown, what you guys got to do is just go ahead and go over to the advanced like weapons dealer. So basically this dude. Click on this dude, click on slingshot, click on purchase, just like that. And once you have done that, what you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go back to the pirate start area. So just get yourself over to that pirate start area. Now once you're in the pirate start area, what you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to the like the bandit quest giver. Click on bandits, click on confirm and get yourself a quest. Now, I you guys can do just basically kill and complete this quest with only a gun. So yeah, any gun will do guys, so basically just use anything. Just like that, we have completed the glitch. Now, I mean, not the glitch, the quest. So yeah, now after I've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the bandit quest giver again. Get yourself another bandit quest. All you guys can do is just kill one NPC now. After you kill that NPC, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the jungle area. Alright. I'm just looking for enemies with the Ken Hockey. There's a dude with a 3.4 million bounty. I want to kill him so now after i've done that all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to the quest giver and take yourself the gorilla king quest guys okay okay that's the that's just the gorilla's one gorilla king just like that now once you have done that all you guys gotta do is just go kill gorilla king basically so this is part of the glitch so i have to kill gorilla king Really? He didn't die? And we have killed him. Now after I've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go to the blocks with gacha. Click on this guy, click on alright. Click on random fruit, but don't click on buy guys. All you guys can do is just click on never mind on that. Now go ahead and go back to the adventurer just like this. Click on adventurer. Click on monkeys. Click on confirm and get yourself the monkey's quest. Now you guys can do just kill some monkeys. Wait, I didn't kill the monkeys? Whoa, these guys need two shots? What? Why can't I? Seriously. Why couldn't I hit? Oh, there's a delay. These guys are dying so slow. And we are almost done over here. And that is complete. Now once you have done that, what you guys can do is just go ahead and go over. Is that dude? Wait. Oh never mind. Okay, so yeah. What you guys can do is just go ahead and go to the Gorilla Kings over here. No, the Gorilla Kings. This is the Gorilla Kings. And just kill like a two of them. That should be enough. Now after I've done that, go ahead and go over to the Pirate Starter area. I might be paranoid or is this before? Okay, never mind. I'm still searching for the uh, 34 bounty one. 3 million bounty one. So, now, once you get back to the parasite area, all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to the block to dealer. Click on continue on here. Now, go ahead and go over to T Rex, store in storage. Click on gift. Wait until this thing pops up. Now click on cancel, exit, and click on this black box. Now after I've done all those things, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go into items. Choose literally any fruit. So I'm basically going to choose, I guess, rocket. So yeah, 
Now, once you have that fruit, what you guys can do is just store it. Just like this. Now, you guys can do is just unstore it once more. Now, once you unstore it, open up the item shop. And not the shop, like the shop shop. Now, click on this. Wait until you get this dialog and click on stop. Just like that, guys. Okay. Now, click on exit on this. Click on the X button. Click on this. Click on the items, click on the fruit again to make that exclamation point disappear. After that, click on X. Go ahead and go over to the box of delay. Click on this dude, click on continue. And click on gift, store in inventory, gift again. Wait until this thing pops up and click on cancel, exit and click on the black box. Now after you do all those things, all you guys can do is just wait until the blocks of dealer shop refreshes guys. And once it refreshes, you should have the T-Rex fruit as a permanent. So yeah guys, that's it from me. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.